Hey everybody, uh, we just had a blackout and the power was flickering and now it's out. It's been out for some time now. So here I am in my dark house. I have absolutely no lights. I have no TV. No electricity at all. I don't even have water because... We are on a well, and it requires electricity to run the pump to have water. So here I am, no power, no electricity, no entertainment. What do you do? Well, in my case, I just come right out to my school bus conversion. I built this thing for off-grid and boondocking. I have no need for an electric cord. I have no need to plug in. My battery bank is fully charged. So, I have lights. As a matter of fact, I have more lights than anybody knows what to do with. I also have radio. A little entertainment, right? If I want to listen to the radio. All running off a 12 volt. If I don't want to listen to the radio, I can watch TV. 12 volt TV. And of course, price. TripAdvisor helps you book. All kinds of channels to watch. And if I don't want to watch regular TV, you know, I can always fire up. The DVD player down here. So all the magic happens down here with my battery bank and my power inverter. So in the bus I also have a source to charge my cell phones, my laptop, my tablet. I also have a 110 volt power strip to run 110 volt accessories. More outlets, more 12 volt. What about water? What are you going to do with water? Well, I have a 12 volt water pump. I have a 33 gallon tank. I have running water. What about cooking? In the house, I have an electric stove. In the bus, I have a propane stove. I can cook on the stove top. I can cook in the oven. Okay, it's a little warm in here. What do you do? Well, I can very easily open my vent and turn on the fan. Get a little airflow going. Good to go. I also have refrigeration. I have ice cold beer. I have a shower. I have a bathroom. I have everything anybody could possibly need right here in my bus build. I do not need electricity from a cord. I just come out here and reap the benefits of what I built. <laughs> 